Let's talk to David Bailey, Professor of Business Economics at Birmingham Business School. Um, David, what do you think the key factors were that influenced Tata's decision to uh, cite this battery plant in uh, the UK rather than Spain? Was it simply a question of shed loads of money? I think that was part of the story. I mean, I think this is a very good site where they're going in Somerset. Lots of land near to Hinkley Point, which is a nuclear power station, which means energy supplies, near to a port to bring in raw materials, but also near to a motorway so they can get the batteries up to their assembly plants in the UK, but also potentially export them. So a really good site. Um, I think government support has played a key role, both in terms of getting the factory built and improving infrastructure. But I think one of the big issues uh, regarding Spain was that uh, energy costs were much lower there. So the government have had to come back with some sort of energy compensation deal to get energy costs down in the UK. So overall, very good news, I think. How does this uh, new gigafactory in Somerset compare to uh, other battery factories in Europe in terms of their size and capacity? It sounds really big, 40 gigawatt hours a, a year. But if you, if you look at uh, Tesla, for example, only today it's announced that it's looking to double the size of its factory near Berlin to, to increase car output to a million, but also have 100 gigawatt hours of uh, battery making capacity. So this is big for the UK, but many more will be needed if vehicle assembly is to be anchored in the UK. My big fear was that if the battery plant decision went to the EU, car assembly would follow simply because batteries are so heavy to shift around. So if the UK wants to keep a mass car industry in the future, it needs more of these battery gigafactories. How do you envision the Tata battery factory contributing to the UK's transition towards uh, a low carbon economy and the development of uh, uh, an electric vehicle infrastructure? So I think the, the battery plant is absolutely critical in terms of developing a, a battery electric vehicle supply chain where the batteries are made in the UK. Um, hopefully the, the, some of the key components that go into them will be made in the UK. And then those batteries will be used in cars built in the UK, both in the West Midlands and up in Merseyside, where JLR have factories. I mean, more broadly, there needs to be a proper industrial strategy to push this along that will help reorientate the supply chain, retrain workers, but also more of a plan to improve infrastructure and encourage take-up of electric vehicles. I mean, I've been driving electric vehicles in the UK for 10 years. I'm now struggling to get a charging point that actually works if I go on any, any sort of journey. It used to be easier years ago. So we're, we're kind of lagging behind in terms of the infrastructure. We need much more of a holistic plan. China shows the way forward. Huge investment in infrastructure and something like 8 million electric cars like be sold in China this year. So this one's in the bag. I wonder if there's a possibility of uh, attracting uh, other similar investments to the UK, or is this it? I certainly hope not. Uh, the UK needs to attract more of these plants to, uh, in order to keep car production here. If we think about, OK, there's so far there's been two. There's been one at Nissan in Sunderland, this one for Jaguar Land Rover. There are other producers here, like Stellantis, Toyota, BMW Mini, as well as niche producers. So there needs to be more of these plants in the UK. The government, I think, has got to step up and do more. We, we've seen huge effort in the United States through the Inflation Reduction Act to put resources into attracting this type of investment. Europe doing something similar by relaxing state aid rules and through its Green New Deal. And China really leading the way in terms of making this happen. The UK has been kind of standing on the sidelines. This investment is great, but we need much more really to anchor car production in the UK going forwards. David, good to see you. Thank you for that. David Bailey, Professor of Business Economics at Birmingham Business School.